Jackson. All right, um, how's your first media day going? Oh, uh, it's really fun, you know, just wearing the jersey for like, I mean, it's like the third time, but it feels like the first. It's been, um, it's been fun just like taking all these pictures, being with the guys, getting ready for training camp. What's been your favorite part? Favorite part? Um, I had to hype up some fans that they weren't actually making noise. It was, it was so awkward, but it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I've never been more uncomfortable in my life. <laughs> Brian. How, how have you gotten acclimated to being in Houston, and how much does your family mean to you on this journey? Yeah, well, first, my family means a lot to me. They mean, like, everything to me. You know, it's been happening. It's been great to have them on this journey with me. They've helped me get acclimated. You know, when I go out on a trip with the team, they're helping my apartment get ready. So, I mean, getting acclimated wasn't that hard, really, to Houston. I live in Florida. It's hot all the time, just like Houston. <laughs> but having a family there with me to help me get acclimated has been, it's been the best. What benefits do you expect to get or maybe have already even gotten from having the veterans, as many as they have brought in here, to be around those guys? Yeah, I just get to, you know, having the veterans, I just get to learn from them every day. Like, they've been in the league for years, smart, and I feel like I'm smart, I can pick up fast. So, just having them, and they're like, they're willing to teach you. That's the best part about them. They're not like some stingy, like, veteran. They're willing to teach you whatever you want to learn. Chris? What goals have you set for yourself this season? Goals I set for myself, rookie of the year, you know, making all a defensive team. Um, just, I, you know, I want to make the playoffs, so that's more of a team goal, though. But just, I have big goals, especially for this season. Christy. What do you think will be the most challenging part of making the move from where you were to the NBA? The most challenging part? Just, um, it's a good question. To be honest, I guess the guys are bigger. But, um, you know, I feel like there's no challenge that I'm not ready for, so. I would just say the guys are more experienced, bigger. What were your thoughts in July when this team did bring in this kind of quartet of free agents? And do you find it fortunate at all that you're joining a situation of not all young players like some of the other rookies in previous years have had to come? Yeah, I mean, having these guys, like I said earlier, just to learn from, you know, it's not like I'm having just like straight rookies to learn from, even though I've learned a lot from even our young dudes like Jalen, Jabari, Tari. You know, they teach a lot, but having these veterans, I can teach all of us. So, you know, in turn, next year, we can teach them, the new guys. Kim. Oh, man, can you talk about what you've learned about yourself since you've been drafted and what you've learned to this point about the NBA? Um, what I've learned about myself, really, is just that, um, what I learned about myself, I don't know, I just feel like being here, like, I feel like I could be great. Like, that's really what I, I guess, learned about myself. But um, this far into the NBA, I feel like it's different. You know, it's more of a, like, everybody's down to get their business done. But that's fine with me, too. Right. Having a, having a brother is one thing. Having a twin is another. Y'all have been together your entire lives. This is going to be the first time you all are apart. What is that experience going to be like for you? Um, it's going to be different for sure, you know, the longest I've been away from him. Before I got drafted it was two days, now it's been like two months, but, you know, I talk to him all the time and it's going to be fun when we first play, you know, we're really competitive, so it's going to be fun. Ben. You've had a few scrimmages and a few little things here and there with your new, t new teammates. What's something about them that maybe you didn't know when you were first drafted by the Rockets in June? Um, something about them like their games? Yeah, their games. Uh, I, I watched a lot of all of them before, so there's nothing that really surprised me. Um, I'll be a lot better passer than even I like seeing, so, and you see a lot of stuff about, about his passing, so I would say that. Is there anything that you've picked up on what it takes to run an offense in, in the few months since you've been drafted? Yeah, you know, being behind Fred and learning a lot from Fred, I learned just talk, you know, just always communicate, 
um, never get sped up. That's really what I've been learning. And then the coaches help me too. So. That's right. Of course, you played point guard your entire career. Um, but being six seven, do you feel like you can play other position outside of the point guard if needed? Oh yeah, for sure. Like I think I'm, you know, new and day positionless type of player. You know, I just happen to be able to play point guard too. So, I mean, can have a lot of lineups on the court. What do you think about just the group? We talked so much about the veteran side. You mentioned a little bit about the younger players. There are still, it's a huge group of younger 19, 20, 21 year old players you're going to be growing with. Is that exciting beyond just the basketball maybe? Yeah, it's super exciting. You know, these guys that you know, I can relate to, they're close to my age and they're so talented and so skilled. And I just feel like we can do great things. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks, man. Man.